Hey guys, Mark Gray here, just checking in again from the Arctic today. We're up in northern Norway and we're driving from the island of Senja through to Harstad. Now I thought it might be a good opportunity to share with you a bit of advice when you are driving up in the Arctic, uh, Norway, Iceland, any of the other Arctic countries. Certainly um, there's a lot of things to take in mind. So first of all, when you're picking up your vehicle or when you're organizing your vehicle, don't mess around guys, get yourself at least an all wheel drive vehicle. You don't want to get a two wheel drive vehicle in these sort of conditions. You can see today it's actually lightly snowing. We've had sort of fairly bad visibility for the last few kilometers anyway. And uh, there's been times it's been near wide out conditions. So, an all-wheel drive is going to keep you a lot safer. Also make sure that you get a vehicle with uh, spikes on the tyres, okay? You'll be driving on ice, you'll be driving on snow during the winter season and you want to make sure that you are absolutely um, safe, as safe as possible and without the spikes in your tyres you're just going to be slipping and sliding everywhere. So with the spikes you then don't need to use chains or anything like that. So certainly, I mean, today it's minus three degrees. We've got a layer of ice covered by uh, fresh snow on the road. So it is incredibly slippery and you just want to make sure you take it easy as well. So with Norway in particular, a couple of hazards to keep in mind when you're on the road. First one is that, well, during the, the winter months, they have snow plows coming through and clearing the roads back and forwards all day long, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Uh, however, they only clear a very narrow section of the road, just in, in, in a lot of parts, just wide enough to get two vehicles through, sometimes not even two vehicles side by side. Uh, in that instance, you will find there is um, sections of the road as you go with a big sign that says M on it. And the M actually stands for meeting place, okay? Where two vehicles can meet and then pass each other safely. So look out for the M signs when you are driving if you are on quite a narrow road so you can safely pass another vehicle. So the other thing in Norway, uh, you'll find they're quite active people. So regardless of time of day or, or weather conditions, you'll quite often find the locals actually out going for a walk along the roads. And um, to be honest, quite often it's quite an unsafe uh, situation because you can barely see them. A lot of them do take the effort, or make the effort I should say, to wear um, uh, some of the reflective materials. Sometimes they carry flashing lights with them as well, but not all of them. So always keep an eye out for people on the roads because there's obviously no footpaths to walk on this time of the year and they need to get their exercise. Uh, some of them will take their dogs for a walk as well. And you can see them 10, 11 o'clock at night um, in horrible conditions and they'll be out there going for a walk. They're pretty tough, the Norwegians. Another thing to look out for in Norway in particular is moose, okay? Uh, and there's not a lot around, but they do come around from time to time. And you can, well, I'm not sure if you're all familiar with, with how big a moose is, but they're pretty big animals. They can do a lot of damage to a car. So that's something else you really should keep an eye out for. Uh, one of the biggest hazards that I personally uh, struggle with in Norway is uh, giant trucks that are driving along. They hammer around and um, when there's very narrow roads because of the amount of snow and, um, and very tight places to get past, they can make things very difficult. Uh, some of the other parts of Norway as well, in fact they're very common in Norway, is tunnels, okay? particularly some of the more photographic regions that people head to, such as the Lofoten Islands or Senja, where we've just come from. Uh, there's a lot of tunnels on the islands. Some of those tunnels are two lanes, some of them are single lane. And uh, we had a, a situation yesterday where we were, we were heading into a tunnel and we came right around the corner and almost um, had a head on with a uh, giant semi-trailer truck with its lights on just bearing down on us. So we had to reverse uh, again in difficult uh, narrow conditions to get out of the way back to a, a meeting place where the truck would then pass us. So look driving up here in the Arctic is not for everybody, it's not everyone's cup of tea and um, 
I do recommend that if you are not comfortable to do so, then find, find another way of getting around. Obviously, the benefit of driving yourself is that you can, uh, uh, you know, head places wherever you like, uh, whenever you like, which is very, uh, very good, but particularly when you are trying to do some photography and get out to some unique locations uh, for myself. Um, that's obviously why I'm up here doing photography. But also keep in mind that when you are doing photography that uh, you should always pull over in safe places because uh, it, quite often, there's, well, there's not a lot of places to pull over, so it can be quite tempting to actually pull your vehicle over in an unsafe place just so you can access somewhere that looks quite photogenic. So always make sure you go that little bit further away if necessary, find a safe place to park off the main road and, um, and then go and get your shots, okay? So there's some advice for you guys up in the Arctic. Obviously, I'm in Norway at the moment, but a lot of that advice does apply um, to all, all Arctic countries. And um, just try to, avoid, uh, try to avoid any dangerous situations as much as possible. Keep in mind as well um, that you are driving a left-hand drive vehicle. You are driving on the right, right-hand side of the road. For an Aussie like myself, that's the opposite side of the road than I'm used to, okay? When there is a, a line in the middle of the road, the easiest way to remember which side to drive on is to always make sure that you are actually uh, hard against that line. Whether it doesn't matter where you're at in the world, you should always be uh, against that line when you're driving, uh, as just as a nice reminder that you are driving on the right side of the road. All right, guys, well, I hope you're enjoying that advice uh, for driving in the Arctic. Look, it's, as I say, you can see today it's snowing pretty heavily and uh, we are heading uh, in and out of near whiteout conditions. At the moment it's not too bad, but um, yeah, uh, feel free to subscribe guys if you are enjoying the, the information I've been sharing lately and uh, love to keep you updated with new videos as we go along and yeah, make sure you keep in touch. If you're heading up to the Arctic, have a wonderful trip. Cheers.